Hello, it's Cindy Novotny, and today it is a Mistletoe Monday. Kind of replacing Monday Mentor Moment, but I'll, I'll put some sort of uh, message in this for sure. So during the holidays, I love to have some fun different cocktails. Now, I think everyone knows I'm kind of an easy Jack Daniels lover, or I go just vodka on the rocks. But during the holidays, I do like to make it so it's pretty. And I decided that I would share with you what I do just to keep the calories down, but still make it fun and festive. So the first thing I do is I do go with the diet cranberry. Now don't judge me on this, but you know, the sugar and things in the other cranberry juice just starts to add on. And I'd rather have, you know, a piece of cake, if you're quite honest. Then, you know, you take your Christmas shot glass and you pour in a shot of cranberry. I've got my shaker down here full of ice, but the key to this drink is my elderflower vodka. I first discovered this when I was in England and I loved it. And it is a different mm, kind of taste. If you love elderberry, elderflower, you will love it, but it gives it such a festive feel. So I add a shot of this. It's a little bit stickier than your normal vodka. And then you simply shake. I mean, who doesn't like to have a cocktail over the holidays. Now, if you don't drink, you can actually get some elderflower, you know, kind of uh, different types of uh, the, the actual, I think there's some that you can put in just to actually into the drink for non-alcoholic. Because I drink, I'm not sure exactly what that would be, but you'll find it. So, shake, shake, shake. I'm making this up for some of our friends. It's kind of an after dinner cocktail today because the office is going to join me later. And then you simply pour. Now, is this not gorgeous, right? Now, the key, if you really want to make this even more special, to almost like a French 75, is to top it with a little champagne. That's what I did this past weekend when my friend Rob was visiting from Vegas. So I just would take a little champagne, top it, and then it's kind of like a French 75. Now, let me just give it a taste. Oh my God, this is phenomenal and it's delicious. And even topped with champagne, it even is better. But what is my message? My message is, have you tried Chase Elderflower Vodka? Have you actually experimented outside of your normal traditional holiday fun? You know, I learned of this drink from a friend of mine. I hadn't made it before. Normally Christmas, I do a Manhattan. That's always been my favorite. But I found out that this was a really kind of cool drink. And because I was serving champagne at the beginning of the holidays, I always top a lot of my drinks off with champagne. You know, I think that the holiday spirit is alive and well, whether you have alcohol or no alcohol. I get it, not everybody drinks, and I totally appreciate it. I have people in my family that don't drink, so I totally appreciate it. But I do think the festive feel of a gathering spot, of drinking and toasting, whether it's non-alcohol or alcohol, brings together the real message and spirit of wishes. You know, that's what it's all about. What are the favorite things that you wanna do? And even if sometimes you're by yourself, it's okay to sit down, make a little drink, put on a little movie and say cheers. You can always FaceTime me and I'll cheer you right back. Have a great holiday and remember, if you need any other special recipes, just DM me, I'll be there. Mistletoe Martini.